वेलकम बैक टूडे आई विल एक्सप्लोर दी अनदर इंटरेस्टिंग मार्केट प्लेस ऐप विच इज एप वाइड गो लाइव दिस ऐप विल हेल्प यू इन द रिलीज मैनेजमेंट स्पेशली फॉर द एनवायरनमेंट जीरा सपोर्ट्स द रिलीज एंड द डिप्लॉयमेंट फीचर्स बट इट लैक्स विद द डेडिकेटेड एनवायरनमेंट फीचर गो लाइव फिल्स दिस गैप बाय अलाइंग यू टू मैनेज द आई टी एनवायरमेंट्स डायरेक्टली विद इन जीरा Go Live app provide a unique solution to track, schedule and orchestrate all the activities related to the environments. Now we will go into our Jira Cloud instance and see how this app works. This is my Jira Cloud instance and I am using the cloud version of this app. When you will install the Go Live app, you will see the Go Live option in the left side bar and when you will click here in the right side, you can see we have the environment views. it's a environment dashboard view and we also have the another views like environment dashboard environment timeline last deployment and the environment location if you want to create your own view you can create your view from here okay now let's talk about the environment dashboards so environment dashboard is a place where your teams can see all their it environments at a glance this dashboard displays the version deployed across the environments and show their current status like you can see when you will hover over here there is the crm dev so crm is an application and dev is a category and here is the latest version crm 2.2 with the status down so in this table in the row we have the application and in the column we have the categories if you want to change it then we have a setting here you can go and change we also have the important thing here which is the filter and let's i want to make a filter here which is app crm so it will work like this let's close it you can also make this particular view as your favorite here you can see it's a star icon you can make it and when you will select this favorite icon and you will go here in the drop down you can see the environment dashboard under the favorite views here so like this if let's suppose you are working on the last status changes and you like it very much you want to add it into your favorite simply go and click here and when you will go into the drop down you can see the last status changes uh, view will be under the favorite views like this you can make them favorite now let's go back to our the environment dashboards we have the other settings here like we have a option to export your environments from here and we also added the environment details like name description and we can also change the owner of this dashboard so i can cancel it and we have a option to refresh it and to delete as well if you want to add one more environment you can simply go here and then just create your environment so you can simply choose the category and hit the create button one more thing that i want to explain here in the environment dashboards we are able to see these informations because of the go live integrations with the deployment and the monitoring tools like jenkins azure devops github and gitlab etc so with the help of these integration we are able to see these information now i will show you something interesting and which is really really interesting for me okay so whenever i will create a bug let's suppose if i gonna create a bug maybe i can choose a different project here which is e-commerce ecp and i want to create a bug mm, this is my bug in video and here i will choose the environment let's suppose if i am a tester or a qa i'm raising a bug but i don't know about the latest version so don't worry you can choose the environments and then you can hit the create button here now i will go and view the issue and here you can see the effects version ecp 12.5 is here it means there is no need to remember the latest version you can just simply choose the environments and the go live will do it behind the scene and it will fill the information here in the effects version now i can go and maybe i can go to the go live again and here just for the testing i can see what was the latest version that we deployed and here you can see ecp 12.5 and which is the same i can see in the effects version in the ecp 16 now we will go and check the environment timeline this is also the interesting view so here you can see let me make it here 
so we have categorized our environment on the basis of the apps we have the three apps here like e-commerce crm and the erp cool and here we have the calendars these are the booking calendars changes blackout dependencies about the booking changes and the blackout dependencies whenever you will click on these calendars you will be able to do some settings like if you want to change the display informations and the text then you can do it from here let's suppose if you want to share this calendar and you want to grant the calendar permissions too then here you can do it and if you want to delete or clone the calendar then here we have the two options you can do it now here we have the list of our environments according to the application there are the three applications e-commerce crm and the erp when you will go and see these are the environments we have listed here so when you will click on the e-commerce tab you will get all the information about this particular environment the latest version that you have deployed and when you will scroll down we can see the dependency this particular environment depends on the crm and the erp as well i will talk about more into the dependency in this video later but here we are talking about the environment details okay now i'm gonna close it now we will play around the scheduling how you can book your environments so there are the two ways you can book your environments simply just go and create the issues where you have to fill the informations like start date and date or you want it exclusive or not let's suppose i will create the one more environment booking which is my first testing env booking i want maybe for training one okay and i can choose the environment from here let's suppose it should be come into the e-commerce dev and start time i can choose this one start date will be 24 here start date will end date will be 25 and time will be 4 a.m cool i want this exclusive or not i would say no and then i will create it this is my ticket i can go and browse this ticket here and we have the informations about our environments dependent environments start and time okay now i will come back to our environment timeline here and if you want to change the time then you can do it with the help of simply drag and drop like this and if you want to maybe make it from here to here then you can do something like that right now you can see my booking is in review so go live app will do all the process behind the scene and it will be auto approved or rejected so now i will go here and i will see it is it is approved now because app wide has the functionality behind the scene it will be automatically approved or denied okay now we'll go here and you can see the status is approved i will make it save so this is the first way how we can book our environments we can also simply go here let's suppose i want to book the environments and i can simply drag and drop okay i want to book environment maybe here so i can simply click in this case there is no need to fill the information about the environments start time and the end time no you can just simply go and put the summary about your tickets and you want it exclusive or not and then just create here you can see this is in review status okay i will go and i will browse it i will open the ticket here let me close it and you can see it is still in in review status it will take some time and then go live app will see it should be rejected or approved ideally if we will see here in the timeline view it should be approved because there is no conflict here i will also explain like what will happen if there is a conflection between the two environment booking now we will come here and i want to refresh it once and here you can see it is approved i will come here and i will see okay it is still in in review so it will take some time to update here and it is here this is approved now what will happen let's suppose someone will come here and they will book 
the environment exactly in the same time so let's suppose this is my second test booking and then I can maybe I want it exclusively yes and then I will create it I will go and open this issue in the next tab and ideally what should happen this should be rejected because you can see we cannot keep the two environment booking in the same time so I will go here and I will see it is rejected why it is rejected you can go into the scheduling and see what was the reason it is rejected and you can see the issue uh, rejected because with the conflict with the following issue TEM 19 and here you can see we have the conflict with and the issue is here we can also enable and disable the settings we want to show the conflict issues under the linked issues or not i will explain it how you will do it but this is about how you can book your environments and how the go live app works behind the scene about the auto approval and the conflict management so this is cool and here you can see i have the booking dependencies it means when i will go and click on this issue you can see this particular booking is depends on the another environment which is crm dev and the erp dev it means if this is approved then dependencies of the management should be approved here you can see about my second test booking it is rejected because the main was rejecting let me refresh it again you can see it is rejected so the dependencies are also rejected so this is how the dependencies will be shown here okay now i want to explain the one more interesting setting which is scheduling configuration when you will go here okay it is asking me to save i will cancel and i will save it i will go here and then i will click on the scheduling configuration we have the configuration on the basis of day and the timestamp but for now i will use this timestamp i will have the booking change and the blackout settings if the event type is booking maybe if you want to make it disable you can simply go and disable it but let me enable it again you can choose your jira project your issue type environment fields start and end time fields and there is the conflict trigger issue it means when the jira issues will be in this particular status the go live will automatically detect the potential conflict and here we have the confirmed statuses on the right side we have some interesting settings like link conflicting jira issues if you want to enable it or not like the auto approval allow exclusive booking auto book dependent environments and to check the conflict on the dependencies so these are some important setting and when you will go into the change then we also have the similar setting and we have the similar setting for the blackout also okay let me go back again from here now here I will open one issue maybe I can browse this one and I will come here in the activity section when you will click on the all then you will be able to find the history about the go live here you can see like it is updated dependent environment CRM dev and the ERP dev and it is changed the status from in review to approved why it is changed from in review to approved and if you want to know more info about the scheduling then you can go into the scheduling tab and here you will find the more information about the scheduling like issue move to status approval successfully so these two uh, tabs are really important if you want to know more about the activities you can go uh, here in the all section and if you want to know more about the scheduling you can simply go and check all the informations about the scheduling now we will move into the dependencies because this is also the interesting when you will click here then you can see we have the dependencies like this e-commerce dev environment depends on the crm and the erp dev if you want to manage the dependencies you can go here and we have the options about to uh, depend like you want to add the more dependencies then you can do it from here and there is also one interesting feature which is a spider map when you will click here then you can see we have the spider map here there is also the exploration depth if you want to go and choose the two then it will show this one like it depends on this it depends on this and crm dev is depends on the erp dev 
this is just a short overview about the scheduling feature of the go live app if you would want to know more about the other features of this app then i would suggest you and even i would request you to try this app for free and explore their documentation for the better understanding because they have documented each and every configurations very well so you will be able to understand this app perfectly if you will go through their documentation and their support is also good if you have any questions related to the app and if you are stuck in somewhere about the configurations you can go and raise a support ticket their support is really good thank you for watching this video and please don't forget to like and share this video so that other people also can understand the feature of this app and i would request you please subscribe this channel because it gives me a motivation to create such kind of videos thank you